Welcome to the end of week four. This is a review of all the points we went over this week. And so let's jump in. Uh, the first one was did a little bit of, a, of an overview of measure words to talk about how measure words, Chinese nouns are, are, are um, all, uh, what do we call them? Uh, mass nouns, so that they're not, they, that when you say the noun, it doesn't give you a, a sense of, it's not countable. But when you put, um, I mean, it is countable, but not, when, not by itself. And so you need to put a measure word of some kind to make it countable. Even if it's in English, it might be a, a countable noun or a count noun. When, uh, when you, in Chinese, you need a measure word, um, just like we need a measure word for um, ice cream. So we, we talked about how some measure words, um, some measure words indicate some amount of information in the measure word itself, like zhang is used for things with a flat surface. Um, tiao is used for long, thin things like, like th long, thin things like rivers or noodles. Um, one, one noun can have, uh, one measure word, excuse me, one noun can have different measure words as well. So like, um, we can have a bowl of noodles, you can have one noodle, you can have a plate of noodles, you can have a pot of noodles, you can have, there's di so different measure words can attach to, to one noun to, to, to measure it in different ways. All right, so that was a little overview of measure words. Then we talked about r versus liang. Basically, the most basic thing is that r refers to the digit two, the number two. But when you're counting something with a measure word, you use liang. And um, there are some exceptions when it's an ordinal number, then you, you always use R, never Liang, and um, some, other, some other little things we talked about. Ordinal numbers, in order to make an ordinal number like first, second, one hundredth, and so forth, you just put a D before the number and voila, whether it's a number by itself, um, D uh, D the second D Shri, um, usually there's going to be a measure word after it. I'm just thinking in my head as I'm talking about this. Usually there's a measure word after it, like the second one or the third thing or the, you know, um, the, the 45th dumpling, whatever. There's usually a, a measure word and a noun, measure word and or a noun. I mean, not and or, uh, maybe also a noun. <laughs> you never, you definitely, you can't have the, the no measure word. You definitely need the measure word if there's a noun. Okay. Now we talked about do after numbers to talk about that number plus some kind of between, you know, if it's like, if we're saying 30 plus, then it's between 30 and 40. If we're saying, um, if we're saying 3000 plus, then it's between three and 4,000. If we're saying one or like a one number, like 55 plus, then it means between 55 and 56. So do can use, can be used like that. Then we talked about G to mean several. G is a question word meaning how many, expecting a small number, but as a statement, it can be thrown in there to mean several of several of a certain thing, or even several hundred or several thousand or several, whatever comes after it. It's, it means it, it kind of stands in there for a number, most likely between one and nine, right in there. Then we've talked about may to mean every. Um, this is used before a noun attached to a measure word. So may garen is every person. Uh, <laughs> May tiao he, that'd be every river. Then we talked about doubling measure words. So if we take a measuring measure word like uh, ge ge or tian tian, and uh, we, we take a measure word like ge or tian and double it, it means, it's, it means every one of those things or those nouns that it would be referring to. So if it's ge ge, it means every person. If it's tian tian, it's every day. That is a measure word that indicates day. If it's bun bun, it's every book because that's the measure word for book. Then we talked about verbal measure words. Uh, those are words that tell you how many times an action has happened. So the most generic one is ci. Then we had um, bian to talk about uh, something that happens, like referring to the whole process of it. And then we mentioned um, tang, about meaning how many times a trip happens. Qu, qu, uh, sang tang, uh, Beijing. Go to Beijing three times. And then we talked about xia, a measure word for, uh, a verbal measure word for actions that are like striking, hitting, that kind of thing. And then finally, we talked about this, that, and which. 
Uh, you put generally you put a measure word after it, sometimes a noun to say you know which thing this thing. Uh, it is j or j na and or ne and na or ne. And the um, I didn't point out in in the video from when I'm talking about this that these characters are the same except for this has a ko um, on the side a ko tsipang, and this doesn't. So that's interesting too. The pronunciation is similar. And the characters are similar. Um, that code makes it into which. Um, okay, so that is the end of. Let's see if I want to point anything else out. I think we get it. Um, oh, I I did want to say about the this that and which, which I did not say in the in the first video is you might remember xie from it was near the end of HSK two uh, one actually we talked about xie meaning sum or a small number of. Or you know a bit of, xie, um, so that's one xie, so it's, it means some some amount of. You can also put xie after this, that, or which, making it into which makes that into a plural thing. So for example, xie jiaozi means these dumplings. Xie jiaozi. If I say um, uh, na xie. Chiu means those, um, those balls. If I say na na xie ren, which people, and so the um, so the, I just wanted to point that out that that, that these can you can put xie after any of these to make it into these those or which meaning plural because in English which can mean can be can um, point toward either singular or plural. But if you want to make it plural in Chinese, you can say na xie or ne xie. Okay, there you have it. That is our review for this week. Uh, keep up the good work. You're learning Chinese, man. You are amazing. <laughs>